in terms of a safety message tonight, we, we urge anyone who is exhibiting signs and symptoms of a heart attack to call 911. Uh, what you see on the screen in front of you is a, a recent image of one of our patients. Um, on the left is before treatment and on the right is after. Um, so this is an example of what happens when you're having a heart attack. Uh, and so far in 2021, we've responded to four heart attacks similar to this. Uh, in 2020, we responded to seven of them, seven heart attacks. We call them STEMIs. Um, our goal, working with the University Hospitals of Cleveland, is not from the time they get to the emergency room to intervention, but from the time the EMS providers show up on scene in their living room to inter intervention. And that has to happen within 90 minutes. So it is so important. Uh, I can't overemphasize this enough to call 911 when you're having signs and symptoms of a heart attack, chest pain, shortness of breath, sweaty, uh, whatever it is. Just, and sometimes it's nonspecific. A lot of times in female patients, we, we see the symptom of back pain more than we do chest pain. Um, so we urge everybody to call 911. And why is that? Our EMS providers are trained in capturing electronical impulses from the patient uh, on scene and trans and we call those a 12 lead EKG. So we capture that, we transmit it to the hospital. Uh, in this case, this is an inferior wall MI or myocardial infarction. Uh, the crew made contact with the appropriate receiving hospital and in some cases, they're on the phone already with the cardiologist that's going to be treating that patient right from the patient's living room. Um, so they're already starting that dialogue uh, with the cardiologist. Our EMS crews can start appropriate medications uh, and provide safe transport to the appropriate facilities. You know, a lot of times we hear about patients um, driving themselves to the hospital or having a family member drive them to the hospital. The problem is, First of all, safety. We can provide that safe transport and start treatment right away. Um, and not every hospital has the same capabilities. So if you're having a, a, an event like this and you decide to drive yourself to a hospital such as TriPoint, TriPoint's not set up to deal with events like this. Um, they do very well with the, with the abilities that they have but they are not set up to treat this. So they have to, they have to transfer the patient out. If you call 911, we, were gonna, we are gonna get that patient to the right facility as fast as possible and start treatment immediately. Um, this patient experienced a 100% blockage of the mid right coronary artery. Um, so I urge again to call 911, don't risk driving your loved one to the hospital. Call us, let us start treatment and get them to the right place. Um, if, if I'm confident that in this case, if that patient would have gone by private vehicle to the hospital, this would not have been a successful outcome. Chief, I know we have um, the letter that was meant that is, uh, Mrs. Litchie mentioned, and so I, I, I know she has a copy of it. I just think maybe now would be appropriate time. I, I'd like, like to, we'd like to read it for the record. I'd love Thank to you. read it. Um, Dear Chief, on March 16th, 2021, I suffered a heart attack at home and called 911. I was treated and transported to Giaga Hospital by your emergency rescue squad. As a former government employee, I know firsthand how often public employees receive negative and critical criticism regarding the work they perform. I wish to go on record that the response team that came to my house were instrumental in saving my life. Their quick response and medical attention were praised by my physician and his staff, which resulted in my having no permanent heart damage. As a result, I was able to walk out of the intensive care unit 23 hours later looking forward to the future. I would like to personally thank Corey, Kyle, and Rich for all you did. What you do makes a difference. Thank you. Well thank you very much. Well done. That's great. Well done. Yeah. And that's all the credit goes to these guys that, yeah. that do this every day.